Hey, hey, everybody. It's me, Becky, again, just back with another weekly um, grocery haul. Um, this, I don't know, you guys, this is like only a half of table worth of groceries. And this was like $170 from Walmart, mind you. But anyway, I'll, I'll try not to complain. It is what it is. And we're gonna, it's gonna be all good. So anyway, let's start here. This is kind of the non-food pile right here, except obviously not the bread. But anyway, if you want to start, I'm going to start here. And these are kitchen scissors. I needed them. Mine were like rusty and broken and gross. And these were only five bucks. So I'm like, okay, I'm picking these up. And you got two of them. So hopefully they're not totally junky. So anyway, then I got this. This was on sale for $39.98. We'll just say $40. Bucks. Um, these cast iron pans. Um, I have one and I use it a lot like to do bread and stews and soups and everything. But these are enamel and um, mine has the enamel is I use it so much. It's the enamel is actually starting to crack and I got the white or oyster shell or whatever they're calling it. Um, and these are really nice cast iron Dutch ovens. Um, but for 40 bucks, or um, I decided I was just gonna pick it up and replace what I had, because um, normally they're 50, 60, 70 dollars and on up. If you get the really good ones, you can pay like $200. So um, they probably, the enamel is probably better on the more expensive ones and that's like you buy it once and you're done. So I don't know. It's pay 40 if you can afford to buy the really good ones then then do it but anyway this is what fits in my budget right now so anyway then we got some garbage bags and I got two notebooks I'm trying this new thing they say you're supposed to get up in the morning instead of like going on social media or scroll through your phone or just do mindless stupid stuff they say you should write for like 15 to 20 minutes like no matter what like just whatever comes out of your head. And it's supposed to really help with um, with just coming up with ideas for things, helping you with things you're stuck on that you don't know how to proceed. It's, I'm gonna try it. I got two notebooks. If after I filled these two notebooks and I don't really notice anything, well then forget it. So I'll update you on that and see if I find it's beneficial because you're supposed to go back through what you've read and like, you know, what's on your mind or what's really bugging you you know, comes out through that writing. So we'll see. I don't know. Sometimes this stuff might sound be stupid and not really work at all, but whatever. I'm just going to try it. No, no harm. So anyway, and then here I have this bread. I could have baked bread, but I'm dealing with a dental issue right now. And I have to go to the dentist on Friday and deal with that. And I'm just I'm not in a good place with it. I'm kind of cranky about it. So I just bought a few things that were done and taken care of. So I don't have to do with deal with it when I'm not feeling the greatest. So anyway, and I just got some probiotic plain yogurt for my puppy. Because um, I put that in his food. Um, because it helps. He has gut issues. So, um, and I got some biscuits. Like I said, normally I wouldn't buy this because I just make it myself, but I just wanted a few creature comforts just to, um, be able to still cook at home and not go out and it's soft stuff. So <clears throat> I'm just, I'm just working with, I'm just going this route for now. Um, just some Parmesan cheese cause I was running low. Um, I got four cream cheese, um, just because I really didn't have any left and we use a lot of cream cheese for bagels, recipes, all sorts of things. So that's kind of a staple in our house. Um, I just bought another thing of just medium cheddar cheese. We love cheese here. No particular reason, just I'll throw it in my freezer and then we have it when we need it. Um, sugar, this, this sugar is kind of dumb. See, it's kind of hard right here. Well, it is breaking up, okay. So um, this just another kind of throw in the pantry type thing because um, we use it. I make my own coffee creamer. And when you do all your own baking and stuff, you really need to keep this stuff on hand. Um, 
some English muffins. Again, I can make them myself. That would have saved me money, but um, just, I don't know. I'm just doing it right now. Um, these fresh Brussels sprouts, I'm kind of looking forward to this. And I got some um, more sweet potatoes. This and this goes together for a sheet pan meal. Um, and then with like sausage and stuff, it's just delicious. It's like, and it has like a maple Dijon glaze. It's like, it's amazing. I just love it. And it's an easy sheet pan meal. You know, you guys, I am <clears throat> working on um, creating a blog and you'll have to let me know. Do you want to see like actually recipes and things that I do? Um, people always tell me I should. I do post on my Instagram page pictures of things that I've made. Um, but I can't imagine, you guys, I love watching other people's grocery hauls, but I can't imagine that you guys are like totally thinking this is so exciting and I want to do something fun for you guys. So anyway, just if you think about it, drop me a comment and be like, yeah, lady, you're getting kind of boring. You better, you know, step it up a little bit or I'm not watching you <laughs> or I'm fine and just keep doing what you're doing. Whatever. Let me know. So then, okay, so it was sweet potatoes, regular potatoes. Um, I got this coffee to try. I probably should just go to Costco and stock up a little more on coffee. Um, I got, these were just kind of stock ups. I'm not completely out of oil, but I'm getting there. And, you know, one is none. What do they say? Two is one and one is none. So I try to just keep keep on top of it because, you know, you never know when the prices are going to go nuts where you can't get anything. So anyway, this is just um, olive oil and avocado. That's usually what I use and coconut oil, but I buy that coconut oil in ginormous bulk. So I'm not going to need that probably anytime soon. Um, and then olives. I love olives. So um, we were just getting low. So I just made sure. And then these are green olives. It's weird how your taste changes you get older because I remember hating green olives and now I love them. Not if, if you care. And then these are lemons. Of course, my husband is a good guy and he actually drinks lemon water every day. I should take some some, you know, like I should take after him and do that. I'm bad about that. So anyway, um, and then these are just some chicken tenderloins. Um, nothing major, just going to go in the freezer because we're low on chicken. Um, and I think, I think that was it. Oh, you, oh, you know what, you guys, I, this matcha latte, oh my gosh, I will make this and show it to you next week. I'll try to remember to do it. But I follow this sweet young lady. Her name is Laura from our oily house. And she makes these most awesome cold brew. It's like got a blueberry. Um, you use you make you use blueberries and you um, cook them down with some sugar and then you put the blueberries in the bottom of your cup, some milk or whatever kind if you want oat milk or almond milk, whatever, anyway, and then some ice, and then you froth up your your matcha and pour that over, and oh my word, it is amazing. It's just an awesome um, afternoon, like, little pick-me-up, and, it, you know, matcha at least is green tea, and it has actually some health benefits to it, and it's not as jolting as coffee, at least for me. I don't know. Everybody responds differently. But anyway, so I got some more of this to have on hand because I really enjoy doing it, um, making those drinks. And you can use fresh or frozen blueberries. Maybe I'll whip one up next week and then just show you what I'm talking about. And I'll leave the recipe below. So if you want to try it. And I believe the recipe that she showed was from, I think her sister-in-law has a blog. I think it's something to I can't remember what it is, but I will find out what it is and then I'll let you know <clears throat> so you can try it too. It's just, it's amazing. If you like green tea and blueberries, I thought it was going to be like gross, like that's weird, but it's delicious. You will love it. And it's just a nice, healthier pick-me-up other than like having soda or something like that. So anyway, this is the last little bit. This is the last little overview I'll kind of give you. 
Um, like I said, this was kind of a grocery, just in between um, fill in, just to keep my pantry stocked at this time. And um, I don't know, I did not really look too close at the ads. I kind of looked real briefly. I didn't see anything super great that I was going to be running out to Piggly Wiggly or Pick and Save or whatever for um, for sales. But it all depends on your household and what you need. So don't listen to me as far as that goes. Look for yourself. So any, anyway, you guys take care. I will see you again next week. And um, just take care of yourself. Watch what, where you are in this crazy world we're living in right now. Um, and I will talk with you guys soon. Ciao.